Hey there, Rest City Kids. Man, oh man, am I glad to see you. I've had a pretty good week. How about you? Oh, wow. Sounds like some people had awesome weeks and some had some not so awesome weeks. You wanna know the best part though? You weren't alone. Whether you had the best week ever or the worst week ever, Jesus was with you. And in times you're super duper happy, you can thank Jesus. And in those moments you're far from happy, you can thank Jesus for what you have and ask him to give you an extra dose of happiness or joy to help you lift up your spirits. Hmm, I think I know something that may put a smile on all of your faces. Wanna guess? Ooh, wow. Those are some fun guesses. I was thinking about a uh, uh, a game! Woohoo! What do you say? Yay, I thought you'd wanna play. Well, I've been taking so many quizzes, like so many quizzes, and I found this super cute one called, What Kind of Cat Are You? And well, I really wanna know what kind of cat I am. So what do you think? What do you, you wanna help me, please? Yes? Okay, awesome. I mean, I need to know. I feel like this could be super important information to share with Mr. Whiskers. Okay, ready for question number one? Good, me too. It says, how do you feel about Mondays? Hmm, that's an odd question. Options are great, eh, and I'm happy any day of the week. Hmm, I would like to say I'm happy any day of the week. I just love to smile and have fun and well, be happy. So let's pick that one. Right, right, okay. Question number two says, what would the name of your first music album be? Options are Meowzik, <laughs> Meowzik, get it? <laughs> All right, um, how do you like me, Meow? Oh man, these are good. Uh, and last but not least, Catastic Dance Party. Hmm, I think I liked Meowzik the most. That's what I'm picking. What would you pick? Nice. Next question. What is the best time for a nap? Options are anytime. I think Mr. Whiskers would agree with that one. Never or on the couch in the afternoon sun. Hmm, I would say never. I'm not much of a nap taker. What are your thoughts? Hmm. Interesting. And last question. How do you feel about dogs? Options are not my preferred company, I love them, or neutral. Hmm, well, I love Max and most all other dogs, and by that I mean all other dogs. So I have to pick, I love them. Hmm, let's generate my score and, and I got, oh, look how cute. I got a cute little indoor cat. Wow, I would be the cutest cat. I mean, look at me in cat form. Oh. Wait, I don't want all this cat talk to distract us from why we're here. We're continuing in our series called Legacy, where we've been learning so many great stories from the Bible and seeing how Jesus's legacy still impacts us today. Before we keep going, wanna get into some worship? I thought so, let's go. Worship is a time that we get to spend thanking and honoring the Lord. It's something you can do all by yourself in a group of people and well, anywhere. I love getting to worship with all my friends though. So let's stand up and do it together.
Hmm, I think I would pick C. Yeah, definitely C. Now I have to just tally up my scores and see what Zach would get if he took it to prove that we're the very best of friends. Oh, hey, rest of you kids. I almost didn't see you there. I was just taking this friendship quiz to prove that Zach and I are the very best of friends. I've taken so many quizzes this week. Earlier, I took the super fun one that told me what kind of cat I was. And then before that, I took one that showed me what Disney character I could be. And oh, right. Anyways, I've really been liking taking these quizzes. They're super fun. Now I just need Zach to take his so we can compare scores. Oh, hey, that must be Zach. Hey, Taylor. What's up? What's up? Well, these quizzes, that's what's up. Quiz? What? No, we have some sort of pop quiz. We don't have school today. Wait, I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared. Zach, calm down, calm down. It isn't a quiz for a grade. It's a super fun quiz that tells you if your best friends are not. There's also the super cute one that tells you what kind of cat you are. They're just so fun. Oh, Whew. that was a close one. I thought I was missing something for sure. Nope, the only thing we're missing is your very best of friends score. Oh, okay, so how do I fix that? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You just take this quiz and tally your score. I already have mine, but you can't peek until you've taken yours. Okay, deal. Well, I'm gonna go fill this out real quick. I just have to find my favorite iPad somewhere. I'll be right back. Okay, sounds good. All right, friends, well, what should we do while we wait? We could organize my craft paper, or take another quiz, or clean up my adventure bag. What do you think? Yeah, I guess none of those sound super fun, but um, wait, I know, I could share today's big idea with you. Let me just find it. Oh, here. <sighs> Sorry about that, one second. <sighs> here we go. Okay, it says, the Holy Spirit is for everyone. Let's say it one more time, but together on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. The Holy Spirit is for everyone. Nicely done, friends. Hmm, I wonder what they mean by that. Let's watch our lesson video to find more out. Let me just find that remote. <sighs> Sorry. Whoops. I told you guys I needed to clean this thing out. Oh, wait, here it is. Let's go. Hi there, you chicken nuggets. Hey, it's me, Carl, <laughs> and welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hi hey, y'all, thank you so much for tuning in today. I got great, uh, great news for y'all. And I got bad news, bad, bad news. Bad news is this is week four of our legacy series. But the good news is that means it's time for our week four fantastic fun facts. Week four fantastic fun facts is a segment where we like to talk about fun facts on week four. Are you ready? I can't hear you. Still can't hear you, that's okay. Fun fact number one. Do you know that it's impossible to hum while plugging your nose? Seriously, it's impossible. Try it. Isn't that crazy? Mm. Hopefully you'll never have to enter a humming contest underwater, am I right? <laughs> Fun fact number two. A bolt of lightning has enough electricity to toast 100,000 pieces of bread. <laughs> wow, that fun fact is shocking. I know it may not be the safest, but man, if you need a lot of toast quick, that's the route to go. Fun fact number three. You can hear a blue whale's heartbeat from over two miles away. Let's see if there's any nearby. Boo! <laughs> gotcha. Sorry. All right, fantastic fun fact number four. The largest snowflake ever was 15 centimeters wide. Wow, <laughs> that's not that big. Hi, TJ. What's going on, Carl, man? It's so good to see you, bro. What you up to these days? Oh, well, you know, it's the fourth week of the series. Did I miss fun fact time? Not quite, we just said our last fact. And to be honest, it was not that fun. Well, what, what was it? The largest snowflake in the world was 15 centimeters wide. Oh, well, well, that's not true anyway. What are you talking about? Go ahead and read it again. Huh. Whoa, you're right. My bad, y'all. The largest snowflake ever recorded was 15 inches wide. Holy smokes, that's huge. <laughs> it sure is. Could you imagine being in a snowstorm and the snowflakes are this wide? <laughs> 
That would be terrifying, but exciting. <laughs> but you know what, Carl? If you like that, you definitely are gonna like today's story. Man is wild. I can't wait, where's the story at? It's in Acts chapter two. Okay, wait, is that the Pentecost? Yeah, it sure is. Huh. Oh, I love this story. It starts off where all the disciples were gathered and then a loud sound like a wind came from heaven. Yep, and then the Holy Spirit filled the whole room. And then he began to fill each disciple with himself. And then, wait, is this the first time the disciples had the Holy Spirit with them? It was. And that's one of the reasons why this story was so special. <laughs> oh yeah, and once they were filled with the Holy Spirit, they started speaking in different languages. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? It totally is. You see, the Holy Spirit is crazy powerful and helps us do amazing things. Do you remember what happened next? How could I forget? Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, I think I might have forgotten. <laughs> it's all right, man. With well, a loud sound that came from heaven, it was so loud that people from all over were wondering what was going on. So they came and gathered with the disciples? Yeah. And these were people from everywhere, all different types of countries. So you know they were speaking all types of languages. But they heard the disciples speaking in their own language. Everyone did? So they were all able to understand what was being said? Yes, sir. It was so cool. I bet. So what was being said? Well, Peter had begun sharing the message of Jesus Christ with everyone. And people were blown away by everything that had happened. Then... Around 3,000 people gave their lives to Jesus, was baptized, and filled with the Holy Spirit that day. On that day? Yep. It was one of the greatest days ever. Oh, well, that's a big bummer. What? What are you talking about, man? This is, this is good news. How? The disciples got the Holy Spirit. Yeah. 3,000 other people's got the Holy Spirit? Yeah. And that all happened on just Pentecost? Of course. Well, newsflash, DJ, I wasn't there. So... So? So that means I don't get the Holy Spirit. I missed out. I'm always a day late and a dog collar short. It's a, do it's a dollar short? Don't start with me, TJ. I'm going through something. Just relax. You're okay, man. Listen, that day was just the beginning. It was the beginning of something huge. What? What did it mean? It meant that from then on, salvation, grace, unconditional love, and the Holy Spirit are all gifts that everyone can receive. Seriously? Of course. That's what's awesome about God. The Holy Spirit is for everyone. Oh, TJ, that is good news because guess what? That is our big idea. <laughs> yeah. big ideas the Holy Spirit is for everyone so let's say it out loud on the count of three then one two three the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit is for is everyone, for everyone. yeah good job everyone let me tell you what TJ I am so relieved to find out that the Holy Spirit is for everyone me too man man listen it's awesome oh look looks like we have one more uh, fun fact no way guess what what Chicken butt. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty good. <laughs> See you next week, kiddos. <laughs> DJ. I don't think right. you can say butt on and here. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. Wow, Carl really does have the best sweaters. I wonder where he's shopping. Is there like a special sweater store that sells super nifty sweaters like the one Carl's wearing? Hmm, I'm not sure. Oh. Okay, Taylor. I did it. Okay. I took the quiz. I got my scores. You did? That's great news. I was starting to get really impatient because I just want to know if we're truly best friends, which I mean, I already know that and I know this quiz is going to prove that and so we need to compare our results. Are you ready? Um, yeah, I was born ready. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and share our scores on the count of three. Okay, ready? Okay, I'm ready. Wait, H hold on. Okay. Now, now, now I'm ready. I wrote my score down on the sticky note, you know, so I wouldn't forget. But yeah, anyway, all right, count of three. One, ready? 
two, three, three ten. Twenty-five. Wait, what did you say? Um, tw twenty-five. That that was my score. But that can't be possible. That means we aren't compatible as friends. Um, what? What if I switch my score to fifty-two instead of twenty-five? Then we are compatible. No, no, no. Still not compatible. Man, that's a bummer. I was so sure that we would get compatible scores, like the same score. Wait, Taylor, does that mean we can't be friends anymore? Because, um, well, I know we're different and all, but I really like being your friend. Yeah, I like being your friend too. And you're right, we are different. Maybe that's why we didn't get the same score, but I don't think we should end our friendship over one quiz, right? Right, we should just take some more quizzes. I bet if we take like a hundred of them, at least 50 of them should say that we're the bestest of friends. We should probably start now though, because it's almost lunchtime and I'm like super hungry, like super hungry, Taylor. Yeah, Zach, that's definitely an option, but I really don't want to take any more, any more quizzes. Well, now what do we do? I don't think we need to do anything. We don't? We just keep being friends? Yeah, we just keep being friends, even though we're different because, well, God made us different for a reason. If we could only be friends with people who were just like us, we wouldn't have very many friends because, well, I don't even think I've ever met anyone just like me. You know, this actually reminds me of our lesson for today. Really? I don't remember talking about friends in our lesson. Well, we kind of did talk about friends because we learned about the Holy Spirit and how God gave us the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit is for everyone. Even though we're all different and unique in our own way, the Holy Spirit was a gift that God gave to all of us, which is great news because that means that there's nothing that disqualifies us from getting the Holy Spirit. He lives inside all of us to help us and guide us. Hmm. Wow, that's pretty good news because I can't imagine my life without the Holy Spirit. And it's good to know that even though we're different people, well, we all get the same chance to have a relationship with God and the Holy Spirit. Well, Taylor, like I said, I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go make lunch and I will see you later, Taylor. Okay, see you later, Zach. Rest City Kids, the Holy Spirit is for everyone. Me, you, Zach, Mr. Whiskers, my mailman, your mailman, everyone. Isn't that the best news? Oh, hey, do you know what time it is? You got it, memory verse time. Go ahead and stand up and let's do it together. Hey there, friends. Welcome to memory verse time. Our verse for this month is Romans 8, 14. It says, for those who are led by the spirit of God are children of God. Wow, cool. I'm led by the spirit of God, so that makes me a child of God. Well, hey, let's learn some moves to go with our verse so that this one really sticks in our brains, just as a reminder. For move number one, you are going to put your hands together and then move them outwards, kind of like you're presenting something. Nicely done. For move number two, you're going to walk in place. Hey, nice job. Looks like you're really going for a stroll. Move number three, you're gonna point up with both hands. Yep, as high as you can reach. And last, but certainly not least, move number four, we're going to act like you are rocking a baby. Perfect, awesome. Now that we know the moves, let's put the words to it. Are you ready? Romans 8, 14. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. Hey, <laughs> good job, everybody. That looks so good. All right, are you ready to speed it up just a little bit? Yeah, yeah? All right, let's speed it up a little bit. Here we go. Romans 8, 14. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. Hey, you guys did a fantastic job. Let's keep practicing this one so we really have it memorized. And don't forget to share this verse with all of your friends and family. You guys have an awesome day. Wow, great job, friends. You guys have the best memory verse moves ever. I'm so proud of all the hard work you've been putting in to memorize your verse. Well, I'm off to go eat some cookies. See you next week. Well, hey, I hope you enjoy today's experience. Here at Rest City, we know that church and parenting go way beyond Sunday mornings. And the truth is your child's relationship with Jesus takes time to cultivate and to develop. That's why we would love to connect with you and encourage you as a family throughout the entire week. 
You can stay in touch with all things Ross City Kids by just signing up for our parent email. Just fill out a quick form by going to rosscity.church slash kids. From there, you will be receiving encouragements from our very own kids pastor and activities that you could do right from home, notifications about upcoming events, and so much more. And while you're there, be sure to check out the Parents Guide. It's going to give you a breakdown of everything that we cover throughout the entire month. Also, we've added a big show note sheet to help your kids follow along with the entire kids experience. And it's going to help some of the information that we cover stick. So check it out. Have a great week and we'll see you later.